Man, look at that. That's round. It's a piece of Americana history. I wanted y'all to get the surprise. Oh, man, look at that. Get ready for something amazing this week on History Seeker. We're just returning from the Leonard Skinner crash site. The plane crash happened on October the 20th, 1977. The band was on tour promoting their latest album, Street Survivors, that was rocketing to the top of the charts. They had just left Greenville, South Carolina, and were en route to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. The plane attempted an emergency landing in Mississippi. There were 26 people on board, and unfortunately, six people were killed. Those include Ronnie Van Zant, lead singer, Steve Gaines, guitarist, Cassie Gaines, backup vocalist, and Dean Kilpatrick, their assistant manager. Also killed was Walter McCrary, the pilot, and co-pilot William Gray. Before we would even agree to go on this dig, all of us had to concur that no relics from this site, just like our other sites, would ever be sold. All right, guys, let's get started in the video. We've got a lot of finds to cover in a very short period of time. If you want to see the full uncut version and everything that we found, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell icon. That way you're notified as soon as we release the uncut version. We'll see you in the video. The surviving band members came back here several years later and carved their names. Where are they? They're somewhere on here. Yeah. It's all and, over. It's so they're on here somewhere, but now other people came back and carved their names and stuff on here as well. And if you guys, if you can make out any of the original band members' names inscribed here, comment below and let us know what you see. I got a piece of the plane right here. It's good high tone. Here it comes. Right there. Piece of the plane. Biggest we've dug so far. You see the screw holes. Guys, we got something incredible here. Bob has dug what we believe part of the instrument panel. See, the instrument would have went right here in the circular shape. Right. And this is uh, aluminum, and it would have mounted up to the dash. And uh, here's part of the rubber, the rubber grommet there that would have sealed it up against the dash. Right. And the screw holes. This could be the, uh, the one part of the instrument panel they didn't find. You know, Scott, if we found this anywhere else, I just said that whenever I found this, this, if, if somebody walks through these woods, unaware of what happened here, they would think this was garbage and, and put it, it away. and they would put it in their trash. And pouch. I also mentioned when I found this, that we're going to, we're going to donate significant pieces like this, pieces that have a little bit of character and you can tell, right? All right. The God says he thinks he has a big piece here. Let's get over here and see what he's got. Scott's saying he's got a giant piece over there, too. Oh, man, look at that. That's round. What is that? Dude, is that part of the steering wheel? The, the, they were small and round, or is... Guys, I was excited. I call this the steering wheel. I don't know why. I never thought planes would have a steering wheel, but we got the part identified, and guess what? It actually is, but it's not called that. It's called a tiller. They used a round wheel like this one that we dug to steer the aircraft while it's on the ground. The last time this piece was used was when it was leaving South Carolina before they crashed. As significant of a part of the plane as this is, believe it or not, we actually even have something that's more significant coming up much later in the video towards the end. Stay with us. You don't want to miss that part. Oh, something turned right No, here. I don't know. I was wondering if it was like the part the seatbelt buckled into on the side. No, I don't guess it is, though. This is actually going to be something mechanically of the plane. Yeah. And if any of you guys 
or aviation, maybe you work on airplanes or anything like that from that era, uh, let us know in the comments below. What you got, buddy? Yeah, this is going to be a part of the plane. There's your aircraft green, but look at this. It's got some kind of fabric. Oh, it sure does. Fabric inside of it. Scott, he's got fabric. Oh, that fabric's coming loose. Is that leather? I think it might be. It could, that feels like leather. It might be. Yeah, I would hang on. I wouldn't. Definitely part of the inside of the plane right here. Nice, beautiful piece. I think this may have been something pretty good at one time before I broke it. It's probably part of that instrument panel that's missing. You know, somebody Went together to, like that. An expert on those types of planes might be able to tell us what. Uh, what I would keep all are. that in your external pocket, and then that's the glass that came out the same hole with it. So it's just this a can. Is, yeah, but this is pretty amazing. And the reason I say that. Oh, I see it. The can's never been opened, okay? Now, one of the rescuers, one of the people that came out here was a friend of mine. I've been knowing him for years. Uh, he said when they got here, there was beer cans all inside of the plane. I mean, they were a rock and roll band from the 70s, of course. They loved to drink. And uh, Budweiser was one of Ronnie Van Zant's number one drinks besides Jack Daniels, from what I understand, reading all the other articles about them and this can is a pull tab from that era that has never been opened wow this very well could have come out of the leonard skinner plane i mean the odds there with the yeah it, it was in the same hole with part we were so excited about the beer can find we overlooked what she was holding in her hand and didn't clean it off right away at the end of the video we clean it off and we're blown away at what we found it's going to be the find of the day by far and it's going to relate directly to this flight parts of the plane so it wasn't like it was left out here by somebody maybe a um it's not usually somebody leaves an unopened can out not here. A, even if they did they wouldn't bury it yeah and this was buried with parts of the plane so I'm about 90% sure this is actually come a off beer of the plane. can that come off of the plane. You found that, Kelly? I did. The coolest can dig ever in metal detecting right here. This can was meant to be drank the day I was born. It's a piece of Americana history. My dad would be so proud. <laughs> Bob's looking to see if... Scott says he's got a coin. Look at that. Oh, you sure do. I'm gonna brush it off here a little bit gently. If it's before 1977, as you're seeing this for the first time, probably since the plane crash, shadow there. see if you can get down and get a date off that coin right there. Nineteen sixty-eight. Not saying it is, not saying it isn't, but I will say this. Why in the world would a 1968 coin be way out in the middle That's of the woods? That's exactly right. It's all about but context. We, it, yeah, it's all about the context of everything else we're finding. Yep, we're night. digging instrument panel stuff feet away from this. But the story is told that they were playing cards on the plane when the plane went down. And they were playing with change. And a 1968 penny would have been something that would have come out of that plane. Yeah, it's it's nothing to it's have amazing. a 9, 10, 11 year old coin in your pocket today. That's right. Uh, yeah. All right, so I had to dig out from under all these roots. I already picked it up. It looks just like a, everything else we've been finding, right? Okay. But I want to show y'all something. That I'm super stoked about this one. You ready for this? Uh, hold on. Could be something really great, right? Yep. Show right. us. I flipped it back over because I've already seen it, but I wanted y'all to get the surprise. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Bob, this is the this is part of the outside of the plane, right? It's yeah, if it's got blue on it, it is. It's got blue on it. Definitely got it. Wow, look at that. Look, you can see where some of the paint flecked off whenever I brought it out. Look at that. Yeah. Right there. Paint's flecked off right there. Man. That one goes in a separate pocket. Somebody's going to want that. In red, next to the nose, was the name Leonard Skinner in red. And there is a little red stickers, like uh, adhesive sticking or paint. I actually may have a part of the Leonard Skinner name. That's amazing. That is. 
probably the only person that has that. Probably. Well, except for the FAA. Actually, the FAA don't have it no more neither. They trashed it. After the plane was completely reconstructed and an investigation was done, the plane was left on a um, the plane was left on a welding yard, and then in 1984, the welder asked what to do with it, and they said, "Well, you can scrap it." And they literally took it to a scrapyard and scrapped the entire plane. Wow. There's nothing left of it. Really? Oh, that's cool. That's definitely electrical wiring Check from the inside out. of a plane. Underneath, it was underneath. The, the, here. See, that's 100% so wood. You pull a piece of that off. Look at that. Well, see if that rings up. Well, I already tested it. This. No, no it's wood. That's going to be like a seat. I think it is. Like, uh, like a seat. Mm -hmm. That and could have been one of the, I mean, you never know, but. Base, because it's got that aircraft grade green color on it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The, the wood part would have been right here with the cushion. the cushion on top. Yep. Outstanding. That's the inside piece of the plane. Well, it's showing on the Equinox. Bouncing around mid-20s. But signals here all over the board. Live dig. Is it going to be good? Trash or treasure? An ode to the silver slingers. That's exactly right. Oh, Our friend right. Dominique. Nice. Blue. Look at the blue. Oh, blue. You gotta be kidding me. It's so much that plane. Jesus. Treasure instead of trash. I won't call it treasure. <laughs> <laughs> definitely nice. treasure. This is the actual instrument panel of the plane. Look at that. White light main instrument panel okay that is the find of okay the day. that is the find of the day it's got beer can i was a little iffy on that is the find of the instrument day. panel <sighs> that's the i guarantee you the only I, I person think. in the united states right now that holds an instrument panel to the leonard skinner plane without that a doubt is awesome without a doubt. be sure to give us a big thumbs up if you liked it thumbs down if you didn't like it but either way drop us a comment and let us know what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong we love to hear from you and we also love to talk to you about your questions from any of our digs be sure to share with a friend if you really like the video hit the bell icon that way you know when we release the uncut version of this video and all of our other events that we have going on on this channel thanks for watching